This is Mac OS Ken. Evercore sees big things for iPhone in AI, stories of Apple Vision Pro in medicine, and two unusual Tim Cook sightings. It is Tuesday, the 12th of March, 2024. I'm Ken Ray, and this is news from Mac OS Ken. Brought to you by yours truly and supported by people like you, patrons through Patreon. Find out more and add your support at patreon.com slash macOSCan. Evercore analyst Amit Darianandi thinks the sell-off of Apple share so far this year is rather overdone. That's according to a note he wrote to investors, parts of which were published Monday by Apple 3.0. When he wrote his note, Apple shares were down 10% year-to-date versus the 7% rise seen by the S&P 500. He sees three primary concerns prompting Apple's decline. Investors wanting to go heavy on artificial intelligence or AI investments, hand-wringing over iPhone in China, and possible regulatory action against Apple, specifically worry around the DOJ, Google implications, and also EU antitrust issues. He sees a few things that could reignite Apple's shares. One is, shocker, returning more money to shareholders. Another could help those investors who want to go heavy on AI. In a section of his note referencing the next super cycle, Darianani sounds like a big believer in Edge AI and the claim iPhone could stake in it. According to a definition from NVIDIA, Edge AI is the deployment of AI applications in devices throughout the physical world. It's called Edge AI because the AI computation is done near the user at the edge of the network, close to where the data is located, rather than centrally in a cloud computing facility, or a private data center. Darianani's note says the advantage of Edge AI, oh, I don't know, on something like an iPhone maybe, would be lower latency, better security, and easier, cheaper accessibility. To take advantage, lots of people would probably need to upgrade their iPhones, possibly to the higher end. That gives you your AI-powered super cycle, one that could potentially drive an uplift and average sales prices in his estimation. See also Mac and iPad. Quoting his note, Given their vertical integration, and especially their control over their own silicon, Apple seems best positioned to not only expand the moat surrounding the iOS ecosystem, but also potentially drive an accelerated refresh cycle should the final implementation be deemed a big enough change. Mr. Darianani has an outperform rating on Apple's shares. His price target on the shares is $220. A small software update seems to be in the works for iPhone. Mac Rumors is seeing traces of iOS 17.4.1 in its website logs. Nothing huge expected for the dot dot offering. The site figures it'll be a minor update addressing software bugs and or security vulnerabilities. No clue when it will make it to the general public, assuming it actually does. Two takes today on Apple Vision Pro in the medical world. One a pitch, the other in practice. The pitch came from Apple. The Cupertino company issued a lengthy press release Monday, outlining new opportunities for health app developers inherent in Apple's headset. Uses and associated applications listed include... Total and partial knee replacement surgery prep with the My Mako app from Mako Smart Robotics. Onboarding and training with new medical equipment with Cyrano Health. Surgical training through spatial computing with the aptly named Fundamental Surgery. And Complete Heart X, which the release says delves into the intricacies of the human body to create a realistic and engaging learning environment. A number of collaborative imaging apps were listed, including Siemens Cinematic Reality, Visage Ease VP, Falcon View, and Medivis. And finally, a number of behavioral health and wellness apps, including the Mindfulness app, meant to turn a user's surroundings into an immersive calming environment. 
guided breathing exercises and a better sleep experience through illuminating visuals and spatial audio with the TRIP app. That's T-R-I-P-P. Helium. H-E-A-L-I-U-M. Helium. Helping users relax and build resilience by creating stress-reducing memories of nature-based escapes. And audio. O-D-I-O which uses spatial audio and intuitive gestures to display beautiful 3D images in a user's space for focus, relaxation, or peaceful sleep. Just take it off before you fall asleep. You don't want to crack that screen. For a real-world application with a side of kicking another headset to the curb, we turn to Apple Insider. That site has word of a surgical assistant in London dropping Microsoft's HoloLens 2 in favor of Apple Vision Pro for a spinal fusion operation. Surgical assistant and scrub nurse Suvi Verho has used headsets in surgery before. According to Verho, headsets like HoloLens make operations more fun and enjoyable. You know, I do want people to enjoy their work. At the same time, I don't know that I want my surgical staff to... Rarely do you hear surgeons say to patients, that was a blast, we should do it again sometime. It is Microsoft. Maybe they were wearing a halo lens. Anyway, despite previous praise for headsets in general, Verho is quoted in the piece calling Apple Vision Pro a game changer, indicating that Verho had used Apple's headset to follow the procedure and have the correct tools ready when needed. The nurse praised the device saying it eliminates human error, it eliminates guesswork, it gives you confidence in surgery. Plus, it's a blast. We should do it again sometime. Two relatively unusual Tim Cook sightings over the last 48 hours. First, he was at the Oscars Sunday evening, looking quite dashing according to something I read. It's not unusual for him to attend the ceremony. He is the CEO of the parent company of one of the mid-level studios making movies. What makes his Oscars attendance unusual is it only happens once a year. I really thought Lily Gladstone was going to win. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyway, the Oscars ceremony was one relatively unusual Tim Cook sighting. The other was in the Porsche Taycan Turbo GT premiere video, which you can see on YouTube. What was Tim Cook doing in that? A piece from Mac Rumor says he was talking Apple Vision Pro. During its premiere video, the piece says Porsche briefly showed off its custom race engineer cockpit app for Vision Pro. That lets spectators view laps from the perspective of the driver with key stats and a track map in the spatial computer's spatial space. Congratulating Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom in the video, Apple CEO said, Porsche has always been known for excellence and we're proud to see a number of our products play a role in what you do. And it's so great to see Apple Vision Pro helping reimagine track experiences. I believe deeply that spatial computing has the potential to revolutionize virtually every industry, and you're showing one of the many ways Apple Vision Pro is going to make the impossible possible. And finally today, the 2020's answer to a functioning original Apple computer seems to be a never-been-used original iPhone. Guess what is up for bids? 9 to 5 Max says there's a 4 gigabyte sealed original iPhone up for auction. When it was originally introduced in 2007, the 4 gigabyte model didn't stay on the market for long because who wanted only 4 gigabytes of storage? Now, the iPhone nobody wanted is the one collectors can't get enough of. 9 to 5 Mac reminds readers the 4 gigabyte original iPhone is more valuable than the 8 gigabyte version because Apple only made the smaller capacity for two months and there are very few of the rarer models unopened. LCG Auctions is running the sale, describing the box because, let's face it, that's pretty much what a buyer is buying. 
The auction house says, Impressive throughout, the front panel of the box exhibits bright color with no sign of fading. Imperfections are few. Seven of the eight corners are sharp. All edges are flawless, and each of the six panels appear factory fresh and retain perfect form. The record auction price for such a device is just over $190,000. With about 12 days left, bids as of this writing stand at $11,000. What a bargain. That is a bargain for someone. Bidding closes on the 24th of March. Mac OS Ken, brought to you by me and supported by people like you, patrons through Patreon. Find out more and add your support at patreon.com slash macOSCan. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media. Online at backbeatmedia.com. You can reach me a couple of ways. Info at macOSCan.com or call 716-780-4080. Until next time, that is news from macOS Ken. I'm Ken Ray. Ciao.